Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you my Phantom of the Opera collection. I have some playbills, some programs, some flyers, stuff like that. So um, here we go, and thank you for watching. Here I have this very large Phantom of the Opera postcard on the back. It doesn't really have anything. Here are my Phantom of the Opera flyers that I have. These are like one of the first ones that they came out with. And it just has like some pictures of the show obviously inside. And then after that, they came out with these um, flyers for their like record-breaking performance. And then it just features some different pictures inside. Then I have these flyers for Family Opera. These are the current ones, I guess, um, at least as current as I know. And they're for like they're celebrating their 20 years on it. And just has a different picture right here from the inside. It's the same picture as before. Here are two flyers from the Phantom of the Opera production in um, Las Vegas at the Phoenician Hotel. And then on the back, they're just one-sided. And then this is the real Phantom one where they have like actual pictures from the cast inside. It has Sierra Bogus, that's Christine, and then on the back. And then this is a flyer from Phantom of the Opera in London. And then inside has the Phantom. And then here are just a few small Phantom of the Opera flyers. They're like the exact same thing as the other one features. Just a little bit different. And then I have the playbills. This is my original cast playbill with um, Michael Crawford and Sarah Brightman. I don't know if you can see it. And then this one is just one from its early run. It has like Rebecca Luker as... Um, Christine, she was in Mary Poppins. Then I have this playbill signed like up top by a couple members of the cast. Susan Owen, who was Christine, she was the alternate. Um, Patricia Phillips, um, and then the same one except this one signed by Howard McGillen on the mask. This one signed by Howard McGillen too, but it's in, inside. This is the record-breaking performance one. And then I have a playbill signed by John Kudia, who's the current fan of the opera. Here is the playbill from the Las Vegas production of the Venetian. And then this is the original one that they came out with. And then they actually switched to the playbill logo. And then this is um, another one, but this is, has a different cover as well once they switched over to the playbill. And then these are just the Broadway playbills that I have for Family of the Opera. They're all Howard McGillen and Jennifer Hope um, Willis. And then I have this Time Out New York magazine, which is like the exact same one as if you saw my Wicked video that had um, Julia and Kendra, except this one has um, Howard McGillen and Jennifer. This is an autographed picture of Sarah Brightman. This is one of the original Phantom of the Opera souvenir programs. It just has like, you know, those cast insert. So, these are my Broadway Phantom of the Opera souvenir programs, and there are three of them. Two of them have Howard McGillen, which this is like the cast insert, and the back has his picture. And then what I like about these, um, which I don't think most shows do, is they actually have like pictures of the cast like, in costume at the cast list, which I wish like every show did that. Um, and then just two of Howard McGillen, and then this one is the current Broadway one with John. And then his picture on the back. Then this is the program slash playbill from the London production, which they're like in color. They have like, you know, a nice nicer song list and cast bios. Um, they're not free, but you know, they they're a little bit nicer. So you don't really mind paying for them. And then here is my Phantom of the Opera program from the Las Vegas production. And uh, this has like some neat photos, like there's Sierra Bogus and Little Mermaid. They have like two Phantoms and two Christines that like would alternate. So, it's just interesting, like they have, this is like the Opera House. This is how they break um, between two acts, because it's only a one act, 90 minute show. So to distinguish between act one and act two, they have this set piece that like rises. And then here is the Love Never Dies playbill program thing. Once again, a little bit nicer than the regular playbills that we have. But they do cost money. And then this is the souvenir program for Love Never Dies. Which 
has dodos in it. This I haven't seen the show yet, but it looks it looks really good. I can't wait to see it. Here's Sierra Bagus. And so that's pretty much it for my fan of the opera stuff. I'll be releasing, I already filmed them, um, videos for Hairspray and Legally Blonde. And then I'll start doing like my other shows, um, Disney, Disney on Broadway stuff. So stuff like that. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.